Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. For those ones that are returning viewers, I am speaking directly to y'all. I see that y'all like the content. Obviously, you wouldn't come around if you didn't. I'm asking if y'all would just click that subscribe button. It is completely free to do so. And turn on your post notification bell by clicking that bell beside my name and also clicking all. Um, for the ones that are supporting me and keep supporting me time and time and time again, I really do appreciate y'all. I don't take y'all for granted. I see the ones that are popping out and... Um, you know, leaving positive comments in the comment section, all right? If you are interested in a reading or to book a reading, be sure to click, um, actually go to my about section for that. And if you need like in-depth messages for Virgo, then be sure to click on the join button. Only those that have a membership will have access to those readings. All right, so let's go ahead and tap into this message here. Thank you all for being here. Okay, so we have emergence and we have remembrance. Numbers 25 and 38 could be significant. I feel like something is happening within the next 20 to 30 days. Okay, something is going to pop up or this could have already happened. Okay. I feel like you're recognizing uh, your energy elevating or it's like you're approaching to some type of reality about something that you could have forgotten about or that you forced yourself to forget about. I feel like you're understanding that even if you lose some sort of authority or you feel like you have no control over something. It's like you are deeply connected to the physical plane, okay, for you to access information to your Akashic records. There's something about Akashic inheritance. There's something you're going to receive from your spiritual divine um, plane, okay? But somebody needs to heal. Somebody needs to do the healing. Somebody here believes that there is a lack of discernment that's going on in their conscious world. Somebody is choosing not to be discerning or doesn't feel like there's anything to be discerning of. Somebody's third eye may need um, aligning, realigning. There's literally something about you being in love with someone that you're not being discerning to okay this could be a potential suitor or somebody you're already dating or whatever this is maybe somebody's trying to control the, what you remember so that they could still have a way in to trick you out of something or to keep something going under some sort of illusion so that you won't be able to persevere against them. But you have the power, okay? Father God is giving you some sort of power to get aligned with your sacral chakra, okay? Somebody here could be using some sort of power to get you disconnected from your sacral. This is like your inner feelings, your desires, your... your um, your your heart the way you feel yeah somebody wants you to suffer in silence and they're using the power of of like being demeaning towards your sacral so that you will go through emotional loss i'm telling you okay somebody has a big heart or when they love they love hard and they're trying to um desensitize you so that you won't be aware to some sort of victory a potential victory yeah, because you would have fulfillment of wishes, okay? It has something to do with, like, I don't know why I heard court, okay? Somebody could be 
getting justice when it comes to court or um, whatever this is. This would be the start to something new. If somebody is trying to disconnect you from somebody that will help you get to this triumphant stage or something like that, you are the sacrifice. Okay, the sacrifice is to give you a sense of a lack of passion so that whatever choices that you make, it may be only temporary victory before you land into something. I'm telling you, deception and envy is here. Yeah, somebody's hoping that if you're patient enough that whatever is supposed to be will not okay somebody could be born 1982 or be 28 years old okay august 2nd or february 8th could be significant i'm gonna dive into the reading virgo Somebody is trying to have your sacral energy on lockdown. They want to be able to create some type of like um, movement or tell you what to like feel instead of you doing this. We have the Queen of Wands to the Ten of Wands. So fire energy. This is the need to take action, move forward, take risks. Maybe do things out of impulse. Somebody wants you to be impulsive. I'm hearing in danger, okay? Or exploring, exploration, okay? So someone could be trying to find something, okay? I'm hearing something about hors d'oeuvres. Ten of Wands speaks to a person that may have already been broken down emotionally, physically, spiritually. Yeah, somebody is trying to spiritually break you down or um, trying to like place negativity onto you. It could be wordplay. It could be the mindset. It could be, you know, just negative energies towards you. Yeah, but you still keep moving forward. Or somebody's angry because you chose the highway, okay? You chose success. You chose determination. You chose willpower. You chose self-discipline. And this is making somebody stop and think. This is making someone feel like you're trying to get closer to your peace, okay? Instead of them trying to challenge you and your chakras and the way that you live your life. The decisions you make, the people that you choose. Oh my goodness, there's something about a person's rectum. I'm picking this up. Somebody's gonna be on their ass. When they learn how karma works, about how you get justice, how you walk away to have justice here because it's like they don't know how to be real, okay? Somebody's going to be fortunate enough to get away, okay, from a knight of cups in reverse. Somebody that's a liar, that cannot commit to anything. This is somebody here that will tell you anything they need to in order to get what they want. The number seven could be significant, all right? Somebody could be on the move to tell you something. Let's see what this chariot brings before we get into anything else. Okay, we got the four of pentacles in reverse. So this is Capricorn energy. Leo, possibly. Somebody here may be going to be going to give somebody something or going to complete a task or pay a bill. Somebody here is insecure when it comes to um, how they handle money, what they did with it, or what purpose that money served at that time. Somebody here felt like it was okay to misuse 
uh, corrupt or be dishonest with something, you're going to find out somebody here has cheated you when it came to the, uh, the business aspect, money that you were supposed to be in on to receive. I'm telling you, somebody is no good. And I feel like they're realizing this. is popping up for me. I don't know why. 25 to 28. Okay. So we have money. Find a way to abundance. Unicorn is at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Invite serendipity. We have bittersweet. So serendipity is bittersweet. Number 36, shine bright like a candle. You will make it through. You're going to make it through something, Virgo. You were meant to. This is faded. Message for Virgo. Okay, so something is on hold when it comes to the next move that you make or, or something like that. There's a new beginning. Okay, or somebody's trying to hold you back from it. Somebody here may be leading you to using your, your dark side or your shadow side to keep, to keep you from having control or something like that. Yeah, somebody is illegally trying to hinder you from some sort of opportunity. A fresh start. Why? Why is somebody trying to hinder you and have you turn to your shadow side thinking that this is going to be the control that you need? want some sort of balance for themselves and they feel like if you are you know needing to go into doing the shadow work it will bring them some type of happiness or it will make them happy that you will be the reason why they're balanced okay somebody is using you as a crutch or leverage to gain some type of like um equilibrium in their life here you are the key to somebody's freedom. Okay. They're using you to do this. Because they see that something is about to emerge. And it's like almost um, holding on to you while you're flying. You have complete control of something that they don't or they can't have. Okay. This could be a religious person. Somebody here that has some type of spiritual practice that they've been taught since they were a child or that they're into. I heard something is developing. Okay. Or there is a development. Aquarius energy. Tell me more. Okay, so we have community. This could be the people around you. Okay, specifically a neighbor, um, a business, or something like that. Somebody from your community or in your environment is getting out of prison or they're coming out of some sort of mental conflict. Somebody here may have been false, falsely accused or mistreated because of a theft that may have happened or something that went missing. But somebody here could be, should have been just a suspect until they had more ground to cover. Somebody could be seeing the number 39 right now. The number nine is important somebody could be almost finished with something 
let's see here. What do we need to know currently? Okay, somebody is double dipping, illegally accepting money from two different resources. Okay, somebody could be bullied over this or the person that's bullying is up to no good. Somebody could be wasting time on frivolous activities and other people when it comes to a relationship or a love connection and they're using you to take notes in order to take over. Okay, I'm telling you, you are somebody's crutch that they're using to get what they want. And when they're done with you, whew, Somebody is an energy vampire. This is somebody that goes around playing games with people. All right. Not to mention being a user. Tell me more for Virgo. All right. So we have dog barking, advice from a friend. Somebody here might need your advice or vice versa. You might need somebody's advice. This could be about a younger man. Beware of greed. You got somebody around you that is a pig or carries pig energy. This is somebody that will never give but likes to receive. They could be a Pisces or something could have happened in the recent past in the month of March. Okay, you might be in need of help or assistance or given some type of direction because there might be a problem that needs to be resolved. If this person is an antagonist and they are a hater, show us what their initial intentions are. Somebody is hating on your body image, exercise routine. Somebody's worried about your appearance or how it might attract people or what draws um, people to you. It looks like you're a very beautiful or handsome person, whether you're masculine or feminine. Somebody's envious of your career and the money that you make and they're recruiting other people to hate on you. This is like a hate or smear campaign to drag your name through the mud, to get you to uh, pay attention to people or things that don't really matter. We also have Venus retrograde at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here could be dealing with insecurities that they're projecting on you, okay? Especially when it comes to the way that they look or feel about themselves, all right? Somebody here feels less than what they appear as or how they feel about themselves and they're trying to project this onto you, okay? Okay, so we have toxicity. Somebody's addictive to, addicted to your glow up or you carrying positive energy or you vibrating at a higher frequency. They're addicted to, to your positive energy. Look, somebody's emotionally disconnected from a karmic lover that indulges in toxic or or things to possess, okay? Damn. Somebody here could be tampering with your mail, tapping your phone, listening to your phone calls. This could be somebody here that um, sees you as sex appeal or... or um, this is someone you've slept with before. Somebody's mad they can't control your mind. Like there is an ending or somebody's going through an ego death or whatever this is here. Somebody is mad they can't control you to get what they want from you, okay? They see that you're just living life in the moment and it's making somebody feel like shit. They, they're going to try to carry out some sort of sweet-talking connection, trying to get next to you, okay, in order to have a romantic love affair. I do see here that somebody's developing a lot of memories or maybe what you said to them or them saying to you, but somebody was just talking shit. This was all to get in your bed, in your mind, in your pants, or to gather information, okay? Somebody's looking into your life or trying to figure out what be going on with you. Yeah, somebody was a walking red flag this whole time. 
let's see here. What is it that we need to know currently for Virgo? Okay, so we have established somebody here is also curious as to what is going on with you because you seem to be very quiet, okay? But you're blocking comics, you're running off or, um, it's like you're not telling somebody something that they want to know. And they're trying to handle it in a subtle way, okay? If you're not already established, you're about to be. Somebody could be getting a new car or an upgrade on something in their life. And you are supposed to be moving in silence as you're doing this. Because somebody's trying to set you up to go under. For you to fall into the deep end so that they could drown you. Don't think that somebody's just trying to chase thrills to see if they still got this charm. They're chasing you to drown you so that they could take your spot. Because they see the glow up. Or they have information on how you are glowing up here. Let's see. Message for Virgo. Yeah, you got somebody that you are resisting yourself from or is resisting coming towards you to tell you about what they're feeling. Okay, somebody is very withdrawn from a divine feminine energy or vice versa. Okay, I heard the, the word separated and I'm hearing that song by Avant. So please don't say you want to give up. How do I tell her that I'm falling in love? And I know I waited patiently for that day But we no longer have to lie about us When I'm with you, all I want is your touch And when you call me, I don't want to hang up Yeah, I'm hearing that song Yeah, somebody needs your help Or you're reaching out to somebody In order to, to um, reach some type of goal Or put effort into something Okay Somebody can't detect why you're hesitating, confused, or um, whatever this is. Tell me more about this hesitation and evidence. The numbers 2 and 55 could be significant. What is this hesitation in the upright and evidence in reverse? Somebody's holding off on trying to get information about something. We have curse, okay? Somebody is spewing hate, misfortune, or catastrophe at you, or at least trying to strategically um, get you out of the picture, or for you to um, have an ending through death, okay, or a change that they could slip into while they get rid of you. Hmm. Somebody that you don't think is an enemy to you is strategically trying to unalive you in order to have some type of gift or blessing. Somebody was a walking red flag this whole time. I want to know who this person was that is trying to put a curse on you or um, make a voodoo doll of you to control your sacral energy. What's the message? Who is this person? Who is this greedy person that's out to receive something that you're supposed to have? This could be somebody with a Virgo placement or somebody that's reckless. I told y'all, this is somebody that doesn't care if they make mistakes. This is someone that has done this multiple times. This could be a Virgo Libra or a Libra Virgo Cusper. This could be a fire sign. This could be multiple people even. All right. Somebody's after this, this um, energy of temperance. This is somebody you walked away from in order to balance yourself out or to be on your own journey. Somebody's still angry that you did this because in their world, they're struggling to find balance, the, the same things that you have in your life right now. And the fact that you walked away from them and did your own thing and you're blessed, 
okay, or you're coming into blessings, it's pissing them off, okay? That's crazy. Let's see. message for Virgo okay so we have self-worth somebody's struggling with their self or their self-worth but they're working on themselves or the working through the pain of missing you okay missing how you took care of them you supported them you gave them a job or you tried to um, you know give them the ropes or the, show them the ropes I should say or life line you were somebody's lifeline here but something just didn't get a good start or something ended abruptly because somebody was turned cold or started listening to outsider influences or spending less time with you and soaking up all this negativity from other people Okay, I feel like this was done because those outside people knew that you were somebody's potential person. I'm also seeing that you were somebody's wish fulfillment or they would have gained wish fulfillment messing with you. Somebody's mad that they let the ball drop. What's the message? Okay, so we have TikTok. Somebody is running out of time or they're meeting some sort of deadline very soon. Okay. With these seeds, I feel like somebody is trying to plant a um somebody's trying to plant something that keeps somebody delayed. This could be an air sign feminine or somebody that carries feminine energy or somebody that could be a shapeshifter. It looks like a female. Okay, it looks like um there's some sort of opportunity for romance, love, or commitment that they're trying to make sure that comes in very slowly, okay, so that it would lead you to heartbreak, lies, deception, or somebody keeping secrets from you. It looks like somebody here doesn't know how to hold water because it, it, there's some sort of like pettiness here. Okay, somebody could be going back to um, a person. I'm telling you, shapeshifter energy coming through. Okay, somebody here could be shape shifting as a masculine to suit your needs or what you may like so that they can get gather information. Okay, this is somebody with air placements or earth placements Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Be careful. So there's somebody that is a shapeshifter can switch into both genders, both male and female. Somebody could shapeshift into anything here just to get you comfortable so that they could get what they want. Okay, so if this is a younger man that you're dating, somebody is out for greed, out for a handout. This is somebody that will tell you that they like you, but this relationship will not be meant to evolve or get to the next phase or something is going to stop it from doing this. Somebody may still need time to heal or progress because they're still uh, frustrated about something either that is happening or has already happened in a past relationship or this is with you there's a lack of chemistry 
or or somebody here is doing more than the other to show the person that they love and care about them and it may be frustrating for somebody whether this is you or the person that um you could potentially be uh dating here message from Virgo okay so somebody here could have the letter E in their name I'm also getting a ritual or somebody doing something day in day out we have eight days okay so somebody's son wants to see you one last time or maybe this is your child or a child that you've helped raise somebody here could be trying to uh, produce pornography and use you to be that person okay this is tied to a bottle service girl or bar a guy that works in in the bartender industry or or whatever this is we have fame or fortune somebody's after fame or fortune and they're using you to do it okay so if you're spending time with somebody be very wary look around because somebody here has you on camera or is trying to at least they want you to engage in sexual activity or do something on camera so that they can put it out as revenge porn or put it on some type of porn site or put it out there. Somebody wants to leak nudes or whatever this is to make money off of it. This is this is sick. We have long distance hookup, fake friend. Yeah, this could be a fake friend that befriended your friends to get in into your circle. Or to allow people to give them information on you. Okay, this could be somebody with a golden coffee caramel brown skin tone. Okay, we have somebody being taken advantage of in a vehicle. Okay, we have paranormal activity. Or somebody could be going through a spiritual um, rape or something like that. All right. Somebody here is trying to steal steal your um, dignity or whatever this is. We have social isolation. I'm telling you, somebody wants you in like your, your own space where everybody rejects you so that you will be left alone. Okay, I choose to be single. We have grown mentality. Now that you're getting older... It's like you want to deal with less and less and less people because of what you've been through, what you feel like people are capable of that allows you to want to be by yourself. Expect a call, text, or email from, um, this could be another person or multiple people, okay? Somebody likes what type of time you're on when it comes to you being grown or doing things differently because you've aged or whatever this is, all right? Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.